Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about NG4 directive in Angular. So first we'll discuss what is NG4 directive. Then we'll see why we use it. After that we will take two examples for NG4. First one with simple array and another one with uh, array of object. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to NG4 directive. And this is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So let's talk about our first question. What is ng4? This is a directive in Angular which help us to make loop over the HTML element. For example, if you have an array and that array contains some information, maybe some information about students or maybe employees or uh, uh, maybe some usernames, right? And then you want to display all of these array uh, elements over the HTML page. That time you can use ng4 directive, all right? And one more thing guys, if you are not aware like what are the directives and what are the structural directives because ng4 is a type of structural directives, right? Then you can watch our previous part, link is given in the description box. In that part, I explained everything about directives and structural directives, even about attribute and component directives also, all right? So now let's uh, move for example. So what I'm going to do, uh, in the ts file i'm making a simple array and maybe a array for students right let me define a property there and this students uh, array has some name maybe let's say uh, anil then sam peter after that let's say sumit and last one is let's say Bruce. All right. Then let me close it with the uh, bracket. Yeah. So now you want to display all of these student names over the uh, this HTML file. And let me make fix this typo also for Summit. Yeah. So uh, in the HTML file, what you need to do, you can take a UL and inside this, you can take a LI. Even you can take any HTML element, but ULLI will be a fit for this because they are basically used to display a list over there. And then inside the list, just put a star and then ng4. And keep in mind the letter F should be capital there. And after that, with the braces, let's take a variable and that could be any variable name. Let's say X of. Of means which array you want to use there so we are we want to use their students so let's make a x of students and after that inside this you can use double curly braces and put the simple x inside this so it should be display the list of student there but you will face a error there what is that error let me explain you but let me show that error, error first so here you can see that can't bind to ng4 of since this is not the unknown property of li reason being uh, whenever we want to use a directive in the angular component we have to import them so how we can import you can just start typing ng4 and you can hit enter or otherwise you can directly import the ng4 from the common library of angular all right and now you will see the list of student is there perfect so this is the simple array uh, example with the ng4 now what you need to do you can take one more array there but that will not a simple array that will be a array of object inside the array we will take some object and this object will contain some more information so for now you can see that we have only a simple name of a user or student but now in array of object we'll take name age email id any kind of information we can store there so now let's take a student data property and inside this let me define an object and let's define name is anil then age is let's say 30 then um, email and it could be let's say anil at test.com right and to make it a little bit faster i am just copy and pasting these data then i'm changing this name sam anil to sam and let's make some more copies i think five copies are fair enough 
then Bruce and email ID is also Bruce there age you can change then Tony and yeah age is 34 and last one is Peter and email ID is Peter at the rate test.com perfect so now we want to display this data over the UI so come back to the HTML file or you can say that this is a template file and uh, then again you can take a UL and to make a break line between the these two uh, UL you can make HR tag so it will just give a straight line here you can see that all right okay so now again take a li and in this li just use star ng4 and again in the braces take uh, any uh, variable name maybe x or better you can take student right student of student data why student data because we want to make a loop over the student data right yeah, here and again in the above above one and g4 you can make it student rather than x yep and let's replace this between the interpolation braces also and now the next thing is you again use double curly braces or you can say that uh, interpolation braces and then put student dot name and here you can see that we are getting the uh, name of student similarly so let's say you want to get the student age also here you can see that right and similarly you want to get the email of student so just put their student dot email right and here we go so i am not putting putting so much efforts there with the style because this is about the directives uh, more specifically about the ng4 directive so style uh, is not the uh, uh, main target there so maybe if you want to just add some span tag or h1 tag and you want to add some style then up to you you can add there but this is how we can use ng4 and uh, ng4 with the simple array and the array of object so that's all for this part if you still have any query any doubt you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm and gpay donation number uh, if you want to donate something and uh, please like this video subscribe my channel you can uh, just provide your reviews and feedback in comment section thanks everyone